Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might take explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Before we get started, okay. I just want to say, mm-hmm. I love the people who listen to our podcast. And if they could hit that subscribe button, it would mean a lot to me. Oh my God, Jonas. Are you shilling to the shills? <laughs> I'm shilling to the shills. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's all good. Anyways, I so um, if you, uh, how do you feel about flying in general? Uh, you know, Jonas, I've come around on flying. You know, I, I I entered it being a little apprehensive, but you know, I I, I live under the pretenses of never let them see you sweat. I sweated <laughs> it out, and uh, I feel good about flying now. I don't like, I don't feel like I have to like pray to the rosary or anything. I don't need like drinks or anything. I like to look out the window as we're taking off and as we're landing. Nice, nice. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, in full transparency, you didn't fly a lot when you were younger. No. You didn't fly much until you got to be an adult. Yeah, I so bought I bought my first plane ticket. Ever. Yeah, you buy it yourself. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, um, do you have a particular airline that you like to fly or have you flown more? Like or have you I'm just curious. Okay, so funny enough, I generally do fly Southwest and I know that's that's the uh the part of the story that we're getting to. I've been thinking about flying first class more lately. That's really expensive. It can't be that bad if I'm going to like, I don't know, within like the 50 states. Do you want to bet? You want to make a bet on that? I'm thinking I'll that bet I can, you real money. I'm thinking that I can find a flight. Like I was honestly thinking about because I have to go back to Ohio. I was like, I can. I bet you I can find a first class six to Ohio like for like 800. I mean, you want to spend 800 just on the flight. One I mean, way, it's first class. one way. I mean, it's first class, man. Is it? Does it matter really? So you're gonna okay? I didn't I've, never you had the, like I've never had the. I've never. I've never had the experience. They get get down on their knees in front of you or nothing. I don't I'm expecting that, but at least I get to sit in the seat by myself, put my feet up, big TV, drink a drink. Probably don't have a layover flight either, because if you're going first class, it's, you know you don't you don't have to lay over. All right, you do it then. I'm thinking about. I mean, I already got my tickets oh. for my trip. So, but. like, I like I like to fly Southwest too, specifically for one, your bags are free if you do need to check a bag. You don't have to pay for a bag. Bags two, I love the choose your own seat. I'm personally, cool. I'm cool with it. It is a little, it's a little chaotic at times. Yeah, I mean, as long as you check in early enough, you can get whatever seat you want. Yeah, like but- it does suck to get stuck and get put in the middle. I'm not a small man, so like. That would suck. But as of this week, Southwest announced they're breaking a 50 year tradition. And they're gonna and starting, I think it's next year sometime in 2025, they're gonna they're gonna have assigned seating. Like everybody else. Basically to make more money because they said that they can have like extra legroom seats to charge more money. Da 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 da. So basically as they make new planes, they won't they'll probably be made differently to have different levels of seating. Mm. And they're gonna charge more money for the seats that have extra legroom, which probably means your regular seat now is gonna have even less legroom than it has now. I mean, look. It, it only makes sense is that the the business model that all the other airlines have found to be the most profitable would be the one that Southwest would eventually adopt. So I'm not really surprised by that because it is the most profitable. It's the most pragmatic way to grow your business. So it's already been set in stone. I mean, look, I guess I don't want to say thank you to Southwest because they took your money regardless, but... I'm glad. I'm just glad that we we had the times together where I could just choose any seat. <laughs> I know. I'm just gonna have to fly on it a lot the rest of the year so I can remember the good times. Yeah, I know, right? It's like when you get like you're like you know, let's go on one more date. A lot of people hate Southwest Jonas. They do. People do hate them. You know what? They got nice snacks. They have no first class. They don't. They don't. You know what? I'm it's a all plebe, coach. Though, bro. I'll, I'll sit in the coach. Like I, if I had, if I was a millionaire, I would still ride coach. Yeah, right. I don't want to forget where I came from. This guy, this guy says that he wouldn't. <laughs> kind of a private jet. I ain't flying with anybody. Yeah, you know, you be Taylor Swift and all over Taylor the freaking place. Swift and all over the U.S. Yeah, man. I uh, I hate flying in general. So like, I'm Dude. not gonna cap. What? If I had enough money to have a jet, I would have one because I could sit how I want and be have room. What What is it about flying that you hate? I don't like. Um, going through security, having them check my bags. I don't like standing around in line. I don't like 
okay. being jammed into a plane like a sardine okay. with like a bunch of strangers sitting around me, kids kicking my seat, people sneezing on me. I mean, like, sir, would you like a, would you like some water? Uh, trying to put the tray down and eat on it when the tray's like all crooked and weird. Sir, put your seat up. We're going to land. And then like getting up bathrooms, people peeing on you. Okay. You, you <laughs> fly on a different plane than I have. <laughs> Okay, All I, that is true, but the peeing on part. Fair, I mean, look, uh, yeah, you make you make some valid arguments. I, I never really get too bent out of shape about the inconveniences caused by riding on a plane. Like people don't really bother me. I just don't talk to anybody. Don't make eye contact, and if they do, I just give them a dirty look until they look down at their phone. <laughs> um, I always feel like I'm doing something wrong. When I go to the airport, <laughs> like you're all like, you go get in security. You're like, they're going to find something in my bag. And you're like, I packed my bag. There's nothing in it. Like yeah. That? <laughs> like, dead ass. I'm not even going to lie. Like last time I, last time I flew, um, I had a bottle of lotion in there that I did not realize I had. Um, but I probably just packed it like as a last minute item. Either way, obviously you can't have that. Oh, because it was too big. So it goes, well, yeah, it goes into too much liquid, I guess. For yeah, so you can't have over a three ounce bottle or whatever. So yeah. it goes through check and dude's like, all right, he puts my, my bag over to the side. And I'm like, oh, you must be done with it. I go to grab my bag. And he's like, sir, don't touch that. I'm like, oh, okay, chill out. I'm like, I'm <laughs> like, I thought you were done. He's like, he's resisting. Like, like, exactly. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Like, dude, I always feel like I'm doing something wrong. It's like, am I at the right terminal? I don't know. I have to check my ticket and, and the thing like 17 different times. It's that inadequacy of being in such a foreign, like, and, and I've flown like so many times over the past couple of years. Like, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, but I always just feel like something's going to go wrong. I'm going to miss my plane and all of that money's going to be gone. Oh, and yeah. Like, the. And like the terrorists are going to attack the airport. I always think happen. like I have something in my bag that's going to get me in trouble, even though I know there isn't anything in my bag that'll get me in trouble. Like they're going to find like the last time I flew, my bag got pulled over to the side, too. I don't remember what the hell I had in it. I don't think anything. I think he checked it and then like let me go. Like they just look at it and then they let you go or whatever. They let you get out of there with the cocaine? Oh yeah, absolutely. That's crazy. You know what, what's really funny though is how the difference is in airports because uh, the last time I, fl not the last time I flew, maybe like two times ago I flew, I have a, I used to, well, I used to have, it was like a, like a widget that went in your wallet, it had like a bottle cap opener, it had like a few different attachments, like it was all one piece, mm -hmm. but it had a different, like a few different screwdriver heads on it, think like just kind of like a multi-tool you keep in your, it fit like in your business card pouch in your wallet. Okay. So I go to wherever I'm going, everything's fine, da 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 I, uh. I, I try to fly home from where I am, and they're like, sir, can you can you get into your wallet for me? And they literally were like, you can't have that. And I was like, this is my return flight. I had it on the way here. He's like, I can't let you board the plane. With I had to, like, give him my multi-tool, and he had to throw it in the trash. And I was like, why was it okay in Austin to go to wherever, but was not okay to wherever to come back to Austin? Like, okay then, thanks. This looks suspicious, man. But why, how did I get it through the first time? I don't know, because they, you know... Performed. That guy was on crack. That guy didn't care as much. <laughs> he he took his job seriously. Why are you walking around with weird buttons and stuff? What are you trying <laughs> weird to Weird buttons and stuff. You why you got a weird tool in your pocket? Yeah, what are you trying to do with that? You yeah. Stab a freaking security guard well, in the neck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's, that was my... Caught me. Filet yep. fillet a flight attendant. And uh, pistol whip a pilot. I like where this is going. Actually. <laughs> so now I'm like, am I going to lose my loyalty to Southwest because now they are just like everybody else? Or am I going to start flying Delta? Assault an air marshal. I, look, I don't know because like, are they going to offer the same deals? Like the, the there's still some incentive to flying Southwest. All right. I know people don't like Southwest, but there's still some incentive. The free bag check in because you get like your carry on. And you get to check one back for free. I don't know if any other airlines are doing that at this point. Right, right. So there's still that. You don't get to choose your seat. Big deal. The flat, the the free. If they keep free bags, that's a big selling point. It still is a big selling point. So they still have some incentive. Um, the picking your seats. I'm. I don't know. That's. I'm perfectly fine with that going away because honestly, it kind of alleviates some of that whole like. 
people running around trying to like it. it it's kind of like Bedlam. All right. It's it bedlam. is. It gets it pretty is. crazy in there. But it does. here's what I like about it. Since I'm not a small man, when I sit down, I sit as wide as possible. And I always like look, I like, and you know me, I don't look intimidating. People are always are like, hey, buddy. Da, da. So I sit there and I try to like mean mug and I try to take up as much space as possible. And I get the middle seat free where no one's jammed in with me so often because I just look like I take up way more space than I do. And then I like, and then I kind of fold in. And because uh, what I always try, I always want a window seat. So I try to find the biggest guy sitting on the aisle and then I sit on the window in that row. So if there's a chance, no, ain't nobody sitting between two larger guys <laughs> in the middle seat. Uh, anyways. All right. That's good. That's good info, Jones. We'll take that into consideration. But you only get to do it for the rest of the year. Oh, yeah. I'm Like I said, I'm fine with that. Yeah, so then anyways, you just get to pick your seat. Anyways, Southwest, I love you. Hit me up. Give me some watt miles. So, uh, but anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to crazytown.com. Subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.